everyone, my name's Duncan White. I am the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. I'm here at Intersec in Dubai, and I am delighted to be joined, joined by Mohammed Bani Hafel. Hey, nice good, you. good morning. Good I was going to say good afternoon. We're ahead of ourselves already. Um, you can probably hear in the background, this is buzzing. And uh, we've uh, taken a little while to actually get standing in front of each other because this stand has just been so busy. Hen nozzles are taking the market really, really by storm. And we're going to find out a little bit more about this. So, Mamet, tell me about you. Tell me about your company. Alcudra Global, a group of companies we have established in the market since 2007 and we are focusing on uh, the latest technology in the world to uh, uh, empower it in the region of Middle East and Africa. Usually what we are doing, uh, we uh, focus on uh, the international companies who's looking for the best opportunity to present their products and services in the market and that's what we did already before with so many uh, brands. Recently we were in, uh, in the exhibition of FDIC in the in, in United States, in Indianapolis, and that was a very good exhibition for us as well, like like same here well, as Intertech. You know, these events, it's a very important for uh, uh, connection and networking. So we have met uh, hand nozzles over there. Uh, our clients was with us and they liked the products so much. We got through the information and we found that hand nozzle is one of the revolutional product that we are focusing to be a part of the market and it takes a very important uh, part in the market to uh, distribute and to make some effort for that in the market. So we start actually uh, our agreement for distribution with the hand nozzles uh, last six months and uh, that was a very, very impressive for the clients. Um, Mohammed mentioned FDIC. Like uh, Intersec, FDIC is so uh, deeply rooted in the foundations of the fire industry and uh, this year is going to be my 26th trip to FDIC. Even though this isn't about FDIC, if you want to be seen and see what's going on, FDIC is certainly the place to be in April. Mohamed, um, we talked about Sun Nozzles and the, the meeting with those guys down at FDIC. As a, a retired firefighter of 32 years, life safety, firefighter safety is seen, is my focus, my priority, is why I still love this industry so much. Head nozzles have really hit the jackpot in terms right. of the innovation, right. which in itself is going to make life more, the life more tenable for firefighters when they are part of firefighting, right. which will also in turn make life safety so much better for, for people that may be affected by the mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. Tell us what makes Sun Nozzles different. Okay. The first thing as a distributor, we are looking to have marketing analysis. So we make analysis in the market, see what's the needs. Second thing, which is very important as well, is going through the technical specification of the product. How this can make a difference in the market. And this really makes me impressed and really looking after the clients to see this te technology. Hand nozzles, they have a very unique thing, which is making the uh, flow of water in a blade system, which is really fulfilling, fulfilling the, uh, the gaps, can reduce the temperature in a very, very quick time, reducing the amount of water by using it can also uh, make the needs of the firefighting some in, in so many scenarios, actually in most of the scenarios, felt by this kind of technology. Hand nozzles, as we make a lot of demonstration with the clients, more than 50 demonstrations within six months, big one. 50 demonstrations because they are asking to call another people to see this technology, which we are expecting this year, inshallah, to get a lot of sales from different countries in the region. We did it in, in UAE, with so many um, uh, entities. We did in Qatar as well. We did in Saudi Arabia, in Jordan, I did. Uh, Saudi Arabia was invited to see that here in UAE. Soon we will be moving to Saudi Arabia. So back to the uh, importance of hand nozzles. Hand nozzles makes a revolution technology which will really solve a big problem for firefighters, especially when you when you have a, the blood system as you, as you saw in the video, if you just go through the video and you can see it, 
the blade system can really cover a big amount, big places in a very wide angle. So that makes the thing very, very practical for the firefighters, especially when you talk about the amount of water that you are spending, you can lose a lot of water in the normal nozzles. I'm not I'm saying that that's a bad nozzle, it's a good nozzle in some scenarios, but sometimes you have a lot of saving of amount of water, controlling the fire in a very short time at the same time it's really can reduce also the power that you got we, we have something called uh, and in the hand nozzles called turbo turbo can reduce the pressure so they can control it uh, very easy as a firefighter which will make you a very uh, practical in fighting oh, the fire exactly. yeah yeah and, yeah. Uh, and again that maneuverability yes the, exactly and, maneuverability and yes. also the the uh, effects on the physical physical effects Absolutely. on the firefighter the, the lighter the more maneuverable the more energy the firefighter is going to have to uh, endure what's going on absolutely absolutely and that's what we have seen feedback from the clients actually usually when we got any uh, distribution agreement with any technology we have we usually take a lot of notes that should be changed in hand nozzles honestly they are more than satisfied with the result that they have i mean when you got this technology in the blade system and you can do it vertically horizontally you can flip it very quick you have the reducer pressure reducer which is the turbo you are doing the best thing for, for for them so they are very satisfied they are very happy and we are actually very lucky to get hand nozzles distribution agreement with them in the, the whole region that was that was good i think we the, my next question was going to be how uh, how did you uh, come up with the, the partnership and and the agreement and with your knowledge and understanding of the region and hand nozzle product a great solution for yes. uh, the middle east yes absolutely Absolutely. And this is actually not only uh, in the firefighting departments. There are so many, you know, our region, it's a very uh, uh, developed region. And you can go through a lot of entities who is uh, separated than the firefighting departments. For example, the oil and gas field. It's very important for them. For heavy industries as well. If you just uh, also visit the huge industry area, they have their private fire team so when you go there and you show them how effective is this that's really impressed and thanks god that uh, uh, hand nozzles uh, team are very flexible and very cooperative together we get the feedback from the clients if they have uh, something special for them uh, customized we talk to the to the hand nozzles and they go through their technical team see the possibility of doing that so we are always open to get any feedback from the clients especially when they see this benefits of out of hand nozzles they would be very happy to continue working on that yeah and um, I think the what I see as a successful partnership between yourselves and hand nozzle yeah. is that you are big enough to be a player but you are not too big to lose sight of the focus on customer service. Yes. And, and as a, an end user, I will be looking to build that relationship so I know that I've got my point of contact in the region, but also knowing that hand nozzles are there to give you the support you need. Right, right, right. And, and it's that relationship building, and, and they say people work with people. Right. And so when I pick the phone up, I want to be speaking to you or one of your colleagues, not to somebody that, uh, is not that I've never got the ability to meet. Yes, actually, um, in, my, in our business vision, uh, we actually don't take any uh, responsibility away from our uh, in charges. I mean, like, we have to fill, fulfill the client's needs in everything, not only uh, in, in the after sale service, even not only in before, serve, before selling and after selling. So we always talk to the uh, clients, frankly, hand nozzles as well they are they, they, we have big trust between us and that's what makes inshallah the upcoming future is very uh, very very full of uh, of success stories between the clients and us and hand nozzles of course unfortunately we've still got uh, a lot of uh, unreputable companies in in the market that are happy to talk before the sale and take the money 
but it's afterwards where they After. disappear. This and is I think, the hardest part, actually. Exactly. Yeah. And I think this is where um, the partnership here with Mohammed and uh, and the team at uh, and Nozzles is going to go from strength to strength because it's that whole life package. It's the it's the pre-sale information, it's the sale, and then it's the customer service. But more importantly, it's about taking feedback from the end user. How the nozzle works? Is there any way? And hen nozzles are always looking to improve and redefine and make things better for the end user. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. And I think that's what uh, I'm more than happy to talk to anybody in the market, but I'm also happy to hear things when I know and feel that I'm believing what I'm hearing. And this, this man here is certainly good. And um, the region of the Middle East is, is very fortunate. What difference does hen nozzles make to the firefighter in the Middle East? Very nice question. When I mention it's revolutionary solution, it is really revolutionary solution. When you talk about the normal, the normal nozzles in the market, with full respect to their products, and we of course know that there is a lot of benefits. A lot of fires has been fighted by the old nozzles, yeah. but when you have something in you matching your needs, it's actually targeting what you're looking for. I think this is the big. The biggest adding value in the market in the Middle East is hand nozzles. Right now, for the nozzles sector, I'm talking about the nozzle sector, and it's not a, it's not a joke when I say that I'm expecting within five to six years or to seven years that hand nozzles will be in every single station in the region. Not only one piece; it's it's gonna be in a, so many pieces. This is what we are targeting. This is what we are expecting. We did our survey, we did our research, we did our marketing uh, analysis, and we talked to our clients. We have a very uh, a potential and a very high expectation from the end user. And this is what they told us, that we are not only expecting, this is, has been told them by the clients. So, you heard it from Mohammed. The, yeah. the research has been done, the preparation has been done, so all the groundwork is there, there ready for the, the launch of the nozzle. And again, I agree with you. We have, for uh, hundreds of years, we've had nozzles of some kind right the way back, uh, but we've seen the evolution. And you talked about the nozzles putting fires out. It was a bit like the 747s through millions and millions of miles. It was a great aircraft, but there's better things coming. So it's all about evolution. It's all about improving. And when that is firefighter safety, life safety, we only have to applaud it. So. This is certainly not the last you're going to hear about hen nozzles. It's certainly not the last time that I'm going to be speaking to Mohammed. And I would say that if you want to hear it again, you want to watch the videos, then get in touch with Mohammed and his team, and they'll give you all the information that you need. My name's Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire Safety Journal, and I've had the pleasure of talking to Mohammed. Nice to see you. Thank you so and much. You, my you're friend. welcome. It's a pleasure. Please. Thank, Thank you care. so much. It's my pleasure, sir.